Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're back again for the week 28 weekly update. Unfortunately, our mic died, and you're going to have to bear with me with the sound quality. We're going to do the best we can this week. We're going to start out this week taking a look at the new market skinner from Emerson. Standard Emerson Construction. This is part of their new outdoor and hunting line. Got a big skinner blade out of 154 cm. V ground with a chisel ground edge. This has got the stonewash and satin finish. They also make it in a black coated blade. We got the dual thumb disc there. And of course the Emerson wave opener. Titanium liner lock construction with an open back. Of course black G10 and a single D10 operation which makes deployment a little smoother than the standard construction. And this is a fairly decent sized knife. Grab the PM2 to take a look at that. So a bit larger in both handle and blade. You can see the blade is also a bit wider. Thickness is going to be about the same except out to the tip, which thanks to that saber grind, you're looking at a much more robust tip on that. Functional grip area is going to be a bit larger. And then the overall footprint is going to be a little shorter than the PM2 and a little longer. So a great outdoor field knife, solid Emerson construction, and a big bellied skinning blade on there for hunting and skinning tasks. Next up, we have the Augustus from Riot. And this is another collaboration with Riot and custom knife maker Kirby Lambert. You can see his maker's mark here on the back. We've got a compound ground recurved blade of M390 with a two-tone satin finish and harpoon tip. Flat ground tip and a hollow ground cutting edge. You got a little jimping on the spine, ceramic bearing, pivot, and detent. And you can see that's very snappy and smooth. Titanium handle construction with bolsters and green canvas micarta inset scales on this one. Custom titanium hardware and 3D machine tie pocket clip and a hardened steel lock face insert are all standard. And we do have this available in a couple of different carbon fiber inlays as well. Good size on this. Large to medium to large size EDC and it's going to carry very well. So if you're looking to get into a Lambert design with a top-notch construction, the Riot Augustus is a great choice. Next we have a Strider WP and we have a few variations on this fixed blade. They're all PSF 27 and these are from Blade Show 2019. This one's got a tapered handle with paracord wrap you can see the Strider mark on the back, along with PSF 27, which is going to be similar to CPM D2. This one's got a taller blade, so you get a bit more of a grind transition from the thin hollow ground edge up to the thickness of the stock. Nice full length swedge, gives you a fine point for piercing, and it also produces a more prominent guard on there. Really locks into the hand, that high traction paracord, and then of course the distal tapered handle and this is going to come with a custom kydex sheet for secure carry and it comes with this velcro loop as well so a great choice to get into a really solid high performance fixed blade from strider next we've got a couple of restocks from spiderco we got the maximet para 3 so maximet is a high carbon tool steel with some of the highest, if not the highest, wear resistance or edge retention in any production knife. This one comes with a tumbled finish. You've got dark gray G10 for the handles and otherwise standard para 3 construction with the stainless compression lock. Nice smooth operation there and four position pocket clip carry. So Maximet is a great choice. If you're not too concerned with corrosion resistance and you're looking for something that's going to have the highest level of edge retention. And then we've got 
the opposite end of the spectrum here, the Para 3 Lightweight. This has got CTS BD1N, a nitrogen based stainless steel that is just a great all around steel for EDC. Has a great sharpening response, good corrosion resistance, and edge retention. Satin finish on this one. Handles are bi directional textured FRN, single liner for the compression lock, open construction, and then stainless deep carry wire clip in two position only. And same great smooth and snappy operation on that. And then the last of the knives, we have a few Foltz Minimalists left. This is the Spearpoint Blade. They're all CPM 154. This one has a black washed finish, but we do have tumbled and polished finish options as well. We've got red G10 over black liners on this one. And we do have several options for handle materials. And then they all come with their own custom molded Kydex sheath for carry. Great way to get into a custom fixed blade at a reasonable price and just a great everyday carry neck knife. And last up today, we have a few lights from Prometheus Lights. This is the Beta QR in full titanium. Got a nice satin finish on there with Prometheus grooves on the body. Brass quick release. Very innovative design from Prometheus Lights. And then standard operation with the twist head. So we got low, medium, and high. And just a great EDC light. We also have now the Prometheus Beta QR clip, which replaces the quick release with a titanium pocket clip and makes it a great option for pocket or keychain carry. And then we have the Delta also from Prometheus Lights. This is a triple LED. As you can see, it's got a glow board which helps locate the light after it's been used or charged in the light. This is a full titanium body with a stonewash finish. We have a few options for the bodies. Titanium pocket clip, solid copper heat sink there to distribute heat from the light. You got the Prometheus boot on the back there and standard operation just cycles through the main three modes. And then with a two press, you can go directly to the boost mode. Fully programmable driver with instructions included and just a very solid light for a more powerful EDC flashlight. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and your Week 28 Weekly Update. Thanks for watching and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, like the video below, subscribe to our YouTube channel feed, and follow us on social media for updates on all new products.